This is the new Ambernick RG556. It's a retro handheld that has an AMOLED display, Hall effect sticks and some other cool features and costs around $200. So is it worth its price? It's Robin B360. This is not a sponsored video. Every opinion is my own. But thanks G Shopper for sending this product to review. Inside the box you get the Anbernic RG556, a USB-C charge cable, a screen protector and a user manual. I chose the black color, but it's also available in blue translucent. Looking at the specs, the Anbernic has a 5.48 inch AMOLED screen that's 1920 by 1080, 402 ppi and 102 sRGB. It has the dimensions, CPU and GPU you can see on screen. It has 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage. It supports a TF card expansion up to 2TB. It has 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. It has a polymer lithium battery of 5500mAh, which results in a battery life around 8 hours. It supports 5V charging, which approximately takes you about 3 5 hours to fully charge. It has Android 13 installed so you can install your own Android games like Genshin Impact and even your own emulators. It has hi-fi speakers, built-in hall joysticks, joystick light control, six axis gyroscope sensor, hall triggers and a lot lot more. When looking at the design of the Ambernic RG556 it has some nice round shapes on the side which make it feel pretty comfortable when holding it. The stick layout is the same as on an Xbox controller and they look a little bit like Nintendo Joy-Con sticks. However they are Hall Effect joysticks so they will last you a very long time and the chance of getting stick drift is almost non-existent. It also has an LED illumination around them and can be cool if you're into that. But if you don't like that you can also disable it. The ABXY buttons have the same layout as on a Nintendo controller but can be changed to an Xbox layout in the software. This is mandatory if you want to use Xbox Game Pass which I will show you in a bit. It also has a D-pad which is pretty flat if you compare it to other controllers. It's not bad but nothing special either. Furthermore it has some menu buttons at the front and at the bottom you have a 3.5 jack port to connect your own headset a USB-C port to charge the Ambernic and a TF card slot for your games or own software. On the top you have a power button and indicator, a volume up and down button and a fan which you also have on the back. And lastly you have two shoulder buttons and triggers which are nice and wide so you can easily rest your fingers on it. The shoulder buttons are nice and clicky and the shoulder triggers have a nice travel to them but more importantly are Hall Effect triggers, so they are very durable. The first thing I noticed when booting up the Anbernic RG556 is its amazing AMOLED screen. The colors really pop and it has deep blacks which create a fantastic contrast. It already looks great in the menu, but even more so in games, which I will show you later in this video. Furthermore, you will see a pretty cool dynamic background and Android 13. If you have used Android 13 before, you should feel right at home. If not, it can take you a little bit of time to get used to. In the settings, you have a lot of options like setting up your Wi-Fi, connect your own Bluetooth devices like a controller or AirPods, check the battery life and storage, change the display to dark mode or set up a new wallpaper, set up security and privacy settings and a lot more. And have I mentioned the touchscreen, which by the way feels very responsive. It also has some emulators pre-installed, but depending on if you bought the Ambernic RG556 with or without an included SD card, it will or will not include any games. But if you haven't got one with an SD card, you can always use your own ROMs. You can also set up other emulators that might work even better. But in this video I will showcase the games on the pre-installed emulators. And after that we will check out some Android gaming and some game streaming. So we're starting with some low-end emulation and work our way up. I have to say the AMOLED screen really pops. The colors look great and the blacks really stand out. As you can see, emulating the NES works just perfectly. But that was to be expected, as it's also working on less powerful retro handhelds. 
Same goes for the Sega Master System, as Sonic the Hedgehog 2 works just fine. So if you want to play these types of retro games, you will not have any issues here. Not with emulating, but also with the controls, as the D-pad and ABXY buttons are very responsive. Just look at how good the Game Boy Advance games look at the Ambernix AMOLED screen. Pretty awesome, right? Stepping it up a little bit with CPS1, and there are still no issues with emulation. Everything works fine and there's no issue with the image or sound at all. And as a side note, if you like 2D beat em up games and haven't tried this game yet, I can definitely recommend it. The Super Nintendo also works great and you will see in the other gameplay clips that fighting games always work well on the Ambernic RG556. The performance and buttons work really well, so if you're a fighting game enthusiast like me, you will definitely like the Ambernic. Here is an example of Marvel vs Capcom on CPS2, which works flawlessly and again the buttons and d-pad work nice and responsive as they should. And gaming on that AMOLED screen looks amazing. PS1 games also run quite well. Just don't mind my lack of skills here, as I'm not used to the controls of Ridge Racer 4 anymore. But the performance itself is very smooth. Nintendo 64 games also run great. There is no sound crackling or stuttering which I've seen on other retro handhelds. Also, the sticks work great on these retro games, so that's a nice plus. And that's on all N64 games, not just on Wave Racer 64. Stepping it up even more with Dreamcast games, and as you can see it works flawlessly without any issues. And the screen really pops on these Dreamcast games, and they look very crisp. So if you like the Sega Dreamcast like me, you're in for a treat with the Anbernic. So here is Marvel vs Capcom 2 on Naomi, and it's arguably one of the best fighting games ever. So it's great to see it also works without any issues on the Anbernic. Tekken 6 on the PSP also works excellent. The loading screens were a little bit on the long end, but the gameplay itself is great as you can see here. I have no issues landing some moves and that AMOLED screen really improves your gaming experience. Even Nintendo DS games like Diddy Kong Racing were great. You just need to get used to that split screen, but other than that, you will have a great experience. As the Anbernic RG556 has Android 13 pre-installed, you can also install Android games. I don't play a lot of Android games, but Asphalt 9 has to be one of my favorites. It's a fast-paced arcade racer that reminds me of the Burnout games and it works and looks amazing on the Anbernic RG556. I also wanted to test out some gaming with a touchscreen, but be kind to me because I normally don't game with a touchscreen. Anyway, the screen performs good on Call of Duty and is definitely playable on the Anbernic. You also have the option to install Xbox Game Pass PS Remote Play or Moonlight. When you've installed Game Pass through the Play Store, before you start gaming, from the main menu, swipe down and then swipe to the left and enable the Xbox layout. If you don't do this, your triggers will not work in Xbox Game Pass, which honestly took me a while to figure out. But once you've set it up, it will work pretty good depending on your internet connection as you're gaming in the cloud. There's also an option to install something like XB Play that lets you stream your Xbox directly to your Ambernic so you can play your own games. That also works pretty well, however it's a paid app. You can also easily set up PS Remote Play and play through Wi-Fi or Local Play. I noticed that Local Play worked a lot better for me, but still you might have a different experience depending on your own connection and environment. Still, it's pretty cool you can play your Xbox or PlayStation on a retro handheld like this. You can even stream your favorite movies, TV shows and YouTube by installing the apps through the Play Store. One thing I do honestly have to say is that I'm not a big fan of the sticks. Let me explain. I do like the Hall Effect technology, but I don't like the shape of this particular stick. They are quite small and flat, but even more so, they didn't work accurate enough on for example shooters on Game Pass or PS Remote Play. But they are good enough for other game types and also on older games, where precision is less important. 
so I didn't have any big issues with them in older games and I believe that that is what the Ambernick is mainly meant for. So if you're looking for a retro handheld that can play most of your childhood games and Android games but also want an amazing AMOLED screen, great ergonomics, don't mind the Joy-Con like sticks and want Hall Effect sticks and triggers which will last you a very long time, the Ambernick RG556 could be the handheld for you. At a price of $210 it can be worth it depending on your needs. I would say a little bit below $200 would be a better price. Luckily I have a discount code of $30 for you in the description which brings the total price down to $180. So if you want to buy the Anbernic RG556, be sure to use my link and code in the video description. And if this video was helpful to you, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to see more content. Or click here to watch the next video. See you there.